Senator Russ Feingold! A lifetime of dedication to the working people of this state and this nation. This guy has worked every day, and I thank you. I want you to all thank him for his service. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, why are we still here? Because we care. Why am I here today? Because you care. Why are we here today? Call Walkerville today. I'll tell you why we're here. Okay. We're here because we will not stop until we win. Until this is over. We're here because the big corporate interests in this country decided about 20 years ago. I think the first thing we'll do is pass a bunch of trade agreements and ship overseas all the jobs of the people in the private sector. That's the first thing they decided to do. They got the job done on that, ruthlessly, tricking both parties into it. And then they said, okay, now we go after the public employees. Let's go after them. Let's start saying the teachers aren't the people they are. Let's start demonizing public employees. And maybe we can get the people that lost their jobs on the private side to turn on the people on the public side. It's divide and conquer by the big money interests in this country. That's always been their strategy. Frankly, I don't think all of us saw it coming. I certainly didn't see the ruthlessness and how far they would go with this. Then they saw something else. And we're here today in part because in the last few years we have found the power of the internet on our side. We were able to raise support and small contributions from thousands and hundreds of thousands of people to elect President Obama and others. And the corporations, they saw the face of democracy and they were terrified. They were terrified. So what did they do? They pulled out all the stops. They even got the United States Supreme Court to thumb its nose at the law of the land and overturn a hundred-year-old ban on corporate contributions. That's what they did. We're here to protest that decision. And we're here to protest what they've done since. Yes, they chose this great state, this great capital, this great founding place of workers' rights, as their first target. They went right for the jugular. And they used Scott Walker as their tool to get it done. They passed a law here that was wrong and unfair and against every Wisconsin tradition on the merits. And they did it in a way that was wrong and I think illegal and I hope that God the Supreme Court sees that the way they passed that thing. But of course, they're, uh, they have an alternative plan. And that's another reason why we are here. We are here because they intend to abuse the budget process. That old phony line of taking away people's collective bargaining rights has to do the, with the budget which we've exploded in conversation and admissions over and over again, they're going to try to do it again in this budget. And I fought monkey business and state budgets here for 10 years as a state senator myself. Thank you. Thank you. There's no way we would have allowed something like this, Republicans or Democrats, to ever go into a state budget. I'm here today, you're here today to say, don't abuse our budget process in the next few weeks. We will protest it and we'll continue to protest it. people that are running our state government. Yeah. They're, not, they're not just sticking with this awful collective bargaining move. They're destroying people's rights to vote in a meaningful way by 
questioning their ability to just come in and vote as we've always been able to do in our state with reasonable residency. They are opening up every tax loophole they can think of for corporations. So we are here to begin the counteroffensive. We've got to do three things. We've got to win back the state senate. Real people to the state senate. And it'll be 17 of them. So we'll have the majority. That means Walker stop. That means he can't do anything more. But that's not enough. Then we got to take back the state assembly in the 2012 election. We need all three. We need a trifecta. And then we have to defeat Scott Walker for a new governor. Senate, passed by the Democrat State Assembly, and then signed by a new governor. That is the goal that we have to achieve. I am here to stand with you as we continue that fight. If it takes a year, great. If it takes five years, it's worth it. This is not a short-term deal. I used to say when I maybe occasionally played a little too aggressively in games with my sister. <laughs> the game's not over till I win. <laughs> this game is not over until we win. That's Thank right. you very much. Yeah. Ross Mango! One more thing. One more thing. Process. Is everybody ready for this week? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody ready for Tuesday? Yeah. We've got to spread the word. Now, one other thing we got to ask you for is one of our greatest allies has been the firefighters, the Firefighters Union. Yeah. And they are having a special commemoration for their fallen members. And they've asked us to cheer them on as they march from the concourse. They're going to take a lap around the Capitol, just the firefighters, but they asked if we wait here till they come. They should be here in about five to ten minutes. We want to cheer them on. We want to remember.